Many people believe that men and boys both belong to the same category and that the only difference between these two terms lies in their ages. You may not know it, but numerous other things differentiate men from boys. In this video, I will share with you 9 ways that men are different from boys. 1. Puts ego aside. Ego in most people, especially the male gender, is the dominant driver of all thoughts, actions, and ways of going about life. An essential thing in a boy's life is his fragile ego, and nothing can make him drop it. However, a man is willing to let off his precious ego to get the things that are important to him. Whatever a boy does, it is to prove to himself and others that he is a bigger man than he is. A boy does not even think about putting his ego and pride aside when faced with situations that warrant him to do so. But for a real man, he is thoughtful, and whatever is needful for him to grow to a particular moment comes before his ego. For instance, a man in a relationship will never need to compete with a spouse because his love for his partner will always be more important than his ego. Unlike a boy, when there is an argument between a man and his spouse, it is never about who is right, but about what is best for the two of you as a couple. 2. Back up words with action American sociologist, author, speaker and pundit, the Shane Stokes, once said that if your actions don't live up to your words, you have nothing to say. One significant difference between boys and men is that boys are quick to talk but slow to take actions. Only a man can afford the luxury of taking appropriate measures that match with their words. A boy is usually a person of terms and not of deeds. He will promise you the world, but he will rarely stick to his words. On the contrary, a man will always back up his words with real action. He knows that decisions always speak louder than words, so he doesn't use empty phrases and promises to win you over. A real man would be ashamed if his action didn't match his words, but a boy usually doesn't have any problem with that. 3. Does not get intimidated Have you ever had the thought, if only I were more confident like XYZ, then I would get the raise at work, the pretty girl would give me attention, or I would be able to pitch my business idea and find the investors? Or do you feel intimidated by other male employees, or your girlfriend's male co-workers? Well, if you always think and feel that way, then you are still a boy who lacks confidence. Indeed, everybody gets to a point when they desire to be healthier, smarter, more confident, and muscular. However, men do not allow their need to be more distort their self-esteem to the extent of feeling intimidated or excessively competitive. When a man sees something he admires in another man, he develops a relationship and learns from the person he respects, whereas a boy feels intimidated and begins to despise the other person. 4 takes responsibilities for actions. Not only do men take action, but they are also ready to face whatever consequences that comes from their effort. To say or do something stupid before thinking about the result is bound to occur, because we are all humans. But what separates the man, the grown man, the gentle man from the boys, is that a man steps up and takes responsibility for his actions. A man has no trouble taking responsibility for his words and actions. He owns his mistakes acknowledges that regrettable sleep of the tongue or momentary rage and does what he can to make things right. On the other hand, a boy will do whatever it takes to avoid taking responsibility. A boy always makes excuses for his behavior and further tries to play the victim. In the words of American clergyman Roy L. Smith, the ability to take responsibility is the measure of the man. 5. A man lives by his principles. Do you have principles or a life philosophy? that you strive to live up to. Having a clearly defined set of principles is so important because it will guide everything you do. A man builds his life based on the principles he sets for himself, whereas a boy lives based on already existing principles, norms, and pressure from people around. For instance, when a man is deciding whether or not to go out in the middle of a project, he puts his principles into consideration. Unless he knows that he gets his work to a point where he will be able to enjoy himself and not think about working during the party, he will not go because always being present is one of his principles. But a boy would not think twice before jumping on the offer to come for a party. 6. A man controls himself. The words, man up, is a famous statement that serves as a form of motivation for many men. The call to man up is a beautiful call to action to live manfully. And one crucial way to man up is to be able to control your emotions. While a boy allows himself to be controlled by his feelings and emotions, a man balances his emotions with reasoning before making decisions and taking actions. Men do not allow their feelings to get a full hold of themselves or dictate how to live their lives, 
Even though they acknowledge the goods as well as the destructive emotions, they do not let them control their decisions. Thus, a man who cannot control his feelings is a boy, after all. 7. A man keeps to commitments. Commitment is a decision to stick with a project, idea, relationship, or goal. Even when it's not easy, real men know what they want, so they won't get themselves involved in an activity or relationship if they are not ready to fully devote to it. When it comes to relationships, a man will do anything in his power to keep his woman. On the other hand, a boy is someone who likes to lead ladies on. He will never be ready to commit fully, but he will always make sure to keep a lady around for whenever he needs her. A man does not make appointments if he is not ready to keep. A boy will fix meetings and show up late, or not even show up at all. When a man sets a target or a goal, he remains dedicated to the course, but boys even rarely stay committed to their dreams. For a boy, when the initial excitement of starting something new is gone, they are no longer interested. 8. A man does not play the mind game. When you are dating a boy, you never know where you stand. An emotionally insecure boy will continuously play mind games with you, and he will make you beg for his attention to make himself feel good. On the contrary, when you are with a man, you will always feel secure around him. A true man will never make his woman question his intentions, and he'll never be afraid of labeling his relationship. He'll be honest with you at all times, and you'll always have his full attention. A real man considers his energy and time to be too precious for him to be spending them on unnecessary mind games that weak, immature, and insecure boys indulge in. An anonymous writer once said, Mind games do not make me believe you are mysterious, interesting. Mind games do make me believe you are a waste of my energy and waste of my time. 9. Treats his woman right A famous saying goes thus, A real man is not a man who has so many women, but one who has one woman and knows how to treat her right. While men stick to just one lady, Boys, on the other hand, believe that it is the number of women that they keep that makes them men. Men notice the little things that their partners do in a relationship or life in general and won't miss a chance to express their appreciation towards you, to elevate you and make you feel necessary. However, boys do not see the need to appreciate their partners because they feel entitled to whatever their partner gives and always want to compete for their partner's success in life. If you find it difficult to spot those differences, Bear in mind that boys are usually juvenile, non-ambitious, and promiscuous. On the other hand, men are mature and have strong values and boundaries. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel. Learn directly from him or ask any questions. Thanks.